In the name of Allah, good time are my friends. Uh, my, <coughs> my title of uh, presentation is about empowerment of women as an important factor uh, on development and justice, a sociological study. Uh, the first I explain uh, for all uh, participation, this article by using the com uh, documentary method prepared uh, on education uh, and identify strategic priorities and pr uh, practical actions uh, for uh, achieving women's uh, empowerment. Next please. Let's click. Okay. <laughs> Believing that women's empowerment and leadership are key levers of change, the organization mobilizes and facilitates women's participation and perspectives uh, in global, regional, and national policy making spheres, especially for uh, sustainable development and effective global governance. How can the global community achieve the third millennium development goal of gender equality and the empowerment of women? To, uh, to be an empowered woman, she must have equal capabilities, such as education and health, equal access and resources, and opportunity, uh, opportunities such as land, uh, employment, and etc. However, they must also have the agency to use these capabilities and resources to make strategic choices. The idea of empowerment as a notion with certain origin in debated. The word empowerment doesn't have a direct or easy translation in some language, and the concept has been described as evolving more from Western individualism rather than from the politics of the source. In fact, in number of in number of different genres of the concept can probably be traced. Participation and empowerment are closely related, but it may be um, that some development organizations are more comfortable um, with the concept of participation, which is less overtly focused on challenging power relations. Meaning of empowerment. Just click. Mm -hmm. okay. Empowerment is sometimes described as being about the ability um, to make choices. But it must also involve being able to, uh, able to shape what choices are no offer, or on offer. Empowerment uh, corresponds to women challenging existing power structures which subordinate women. As such, what is seen uh, as empowering in one context may not be in another. Empowerment is an identified gender equality both as a development objective uh, in uh, itself at, and is a means to promote growth, uh, reduce pro poverty, and promote better governance. Also, uh, and now I explain about social uh, justice. Also, social justice is any definition denotes uh, an uh, egalitarian, non-exploitative society which provides the necessary conditions and opportunities for the development of its members. The positive conception of gender justice in part, uh, is part of the contemporary right-based approach to development thinking. Right-based approach uh, have evolved ever, um, over the 1990s following the end of century wave democratization around the world, and they are based upon an understanding of the importance of political and legal institution for economic development. Now we have question. Why, why Back, please, back. Okay. Uh, why empowerment of women is important key for develop, uh, development in all situations? We can ask its uh, meaning. What is essential for study about empowerment of women as key for development? As essential for this kind of transformation or the mobilization of a large group of people committed to the vision of a gender equitable society. The technical capacity to implement change institutional structure and process to support the transformation and adequate financial resources. 
burden of uh, burden we uh, often with the double day of ex uh, taxing employment and full responsibility for housework and child care they lack opportunities for play and for the cultivation of their imaginative and cognitive facilities faculties sorry and now we say about criteria for measurement of women uh, empowerment for empowerment dimension of female empowerment and opportunity uh, have been chosen for exp examination based mainly on the finding of UNIFEM 2000 concerning global patterns of uh, equality between men and women. First, economic participation. Second, economic opportunities. Third is uh, political empowerment. Fourth is educational attainment. And fifth is health and well-being. Sorry, we have enough time. So if you need uh, and want, I explain about that. Uh, conclusion is this uh, article is emphasis of that results from women's participation and the long-term visible of empowerment of organization, individuals, and movement has certain requisites. These include resources, financial knowledge, technology, uh, skills training, and leadership formation on, on the one side, at the democratic process, and dialogue, participation, and policy, and decision making, and technique for conflict resolution of the, on the other. Within organization, open and democratic processes um, are essential in empowerment women to witness and withstand and the social and family organization and the growing uh, autonomy and control by poor uh, women over their lives are, um, are linked through the organization own internal process of shared responsibility and decision making. However, the meaning of empowerment can be seen to have altered as uh, it has gained currency in main, uh, mainstream development discourse. In this context, in, uh, context empowerment is often uh, envisaged as individual rather than as collective and focused on uh, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship uh, and individual self-reliance rather than on cooperation to challenge power structure which subordinate women or other marginalization group. With a number of areas of activity in development has been closely associated with the promotion of women's empowerment, such as microcredit, political participation, and reproductive health, and much innovation work um, being done in these areas. A case study, a study on the effect in Islamic Azad University on the economic, social, and cultural development in the city of Azad Shah case study. University are among the main resource that a society needs for uh, improve, improvement and development, which means strength the abilities intellectual capacities, qualities, knowledge, uh, technical skills. Innovation and, uh, uh, innovation and creativity, uh, capability in solving economic, social, cultural, and uh, political problems, uh, utilizing the resource findings and uh, facilities of the society and generally improving the conditions of um, material and um, uh, material and spiritual life for all people. To the university as a social um, in, uh, in institution are more influenced by uh, the value system of uh, society, uh, but if they maintain their um, dynamic role, they can also influence the society's value system. University which um, cannot uh, cultivate such uh, cultural in their uh, environment uh, fail fulfilling their main duty. The Islamic Azad University have greatly helped the Islamic, uh, the Islamic Republic government of Iran in uh, overcoming in main uh, consists of the uh, shortage and uh, educate the individual and the greatest uh, shortage in development of human resource as uh, national capital uh, inequity in all uh, people access to 
higher education and limitation and uh, concentrate in uh, financial resource. This university in the few years after its uh, foundation uh, not only has extended higher education, but also has fulfilled UNESCO them uh, of higher education for all. If uh, impact as the uh, bigger um, non-virtual university of the world with more than uh, 1 million 900,000 graduates, more than 11 million um, square meter of uh, academic space. With uh, 1 million 500,000 students, uh, 340 university branch, um, more than uh, 600 uh, dependent uh, schools, SAMO school. Uh, five foreign center in uh, Emirates, Lebanon, England, and uh, Germany, and as the biggest and uh, most um, inclusive center in the Middle East is uh, well acknowledged. The research I'm at uh, achieving a comprehensive development and uh, encouraging the need of uh, con conducting uh, scholarly research uh, the fulfill that goals of Islamic Azad University as a center of higher education with such function as uh, product, uh, knowledge, and scholarly research, object of the research. Uh, two major and minor subjects have been uh, pursued in the research. The main object is investigation, the impact of Islamic Azad University at the economical, social, and cultural development of the city of Azad Shah. Um, and minor objective are um, investigating uh, the impact of Islamic Azad University on uh, increasing uh, the level of education of the resident of Azad Shah. The impact of Islamic Azad University on the employment of the resident of Azad Shah. The impact of Islamic Azad University on the uh, security of Azad Shah. The impact of Islamic Azad University on public health of Azad Shahr. Conclusion. University are the bound health uh, today, uh, powerful and uh, minute, uh, and the and, 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 and uh, society. Uh, the fact that university have a um, determining role in trailing scientists. Uh, the fact that university have a uh, determining role in uh, training scientists, uh, scholar, um, scholar entry perineers, uh, uh, programmers, and uh, man manager and directing, uh, directing the society in a right and uh, secure path toward a uh, consi consistent development and grow, uh, should be uh, in, um, endorsed by all uh, governing uh, system. According to uh, latest uh, census, the uh, population of the city of Azad Shah was uh, 45,000, out of which uh, 450 people were uh, chosen, chosen and uh, sampled, uh, sampled using Cochran and simple random uh, sampling of these uh, 175 individuals uh, have uh, believed that Islamic Azad University has an average impact um, on uh, increasing the level of education. Um, 275 university uh, individual believe that university has had great role. Uh, regarding uh, job uh, opportunities, uh, two, uh, 22 individuals believe that this university has had a, a little role. And uh, 310 individuals believe in the um, average role, and uh, 180 individuals believe in uh, its great role. Uh, in uh, proving, uh, in uh, providing, in providing social security, 96 individual state that is has a little role. 99 individual state in uh, has a um, average, and uh, 259 individual state is great role. Uh, for uh, 
um, regional, uh, regional health, 52 individuals have uh, considered it uh, having it little or uh, 147 individuals that considered it have an uh, average role and 251 individuals stayed in great role. The impact of money laundering on economic development. Sorry to interrupt before she starts. I'm really asking for your kind attention. Please be with us. Okay? Thank you. What is money laundering? Money laundering is concealment or disguise of true nature, source, location, disposition, movement, rights with respect to or ownership of property, knowing such property is derived from an offense or offenses. Simply put, money laundering can be defined as a process where proceeds of a criminal activity are disguised to conceal their origin. By so doing, criminals introduce their dirty money in the financial sector, a factor which enables them to avoid prosecution, conviction, and confiscation of their criminal proceeds. The money lending process can be defined as three stages. The first is placement, lawyering, integration. We can go to the next picture. This is related. Next picture, this is the best, uh, best picture about the progress of money lending. This is the placement, lawyering, and integration. Money lending, please go before picture. Money lending, this is the dirty money. In the first stages, dirty money will go to the bank and non-bank financial institution, which is the riskiest of the stages and process of the money lending. And after banking and non-banking financial institution, the lawyering stages will transfer to the other bank or non, but the with different form of the money, the shape of money will change to different uh, type of volume of assets and the economic currency will change. And after, and no, the final uh, process of the money laundering is integration. Integration means whatever dirty money is collection from the first stages will go to the last stage is integration. It is purchase of the luxuries, uh, furniture, and etc. To the next. Where does money laundry occur? Money laundry can happen in any world, in any situation, in any town. It is not special for one country or one town. It may happen, happen in any all of the world. Please go to the next. Negative effect of the money lending can be defined as a strong developing country, financial institutions such as bank, non-bank financial institution, and equity market are critical to economic growth. Money lending has a more direct negative on the economic growth in the real sector by diverting resources to less productive activity and by facilitating domestic corruption and crime, which in turn depress economic growth. The money lending can impair a developing country's economy through countries, trade, and international flows. Money lending can increase the risk of macroeconomic instability. And the money lending facilitates an increase in domestic crime and corruption. This is the most important negative effect of the money lending, especially in the developing country, which can increase the corruption. So whatever is the dimension of the negative effect of the money lending on the development, it is domestic, returning inbound, outbound, and flow thought. Please go. Some recommendations to find the money laundering money. Many government has already established comprehensive anti-money laundering rules and regulation. This rule and regulation aim to increase awareness of the phenomenon both within the government and private business sector and then to private necessary legal or regulatory tool to authority charged with combating this problem. The conclusion is that money lending has so many negative effects on the development, especially economic development, but uh, restrict rule and regulation also by the government, and especially banking and financial in a situation is necessary for the fight with the money lending. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Money lending. Money lending is uh, some part of economic crime. In the before means around 100 years before it was legal related to the drugs. But now it is especially for everything. Whatever is the dirty money collection from any work, it is um, money lending. 
in the name of God. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I will request the audience to kindly pay attention to the speaker and not hold discussion among them. Thank you. My paper title is Development of International Trade in Landlocked Countries, Role of Transportation and Transit. What is landlocked countries? A landlocked, <coughs> a landlocked country is defined as a territory that does not have direct access to the sea. In order to trade with the rest of the world, it must transship goods through one or more transit countries to reach the sea. <coughs> According to the United Nations definition, landlocked country, <coughs> landlocked developing countries face very specific, specific challenges ranging from geographical, geographical distance from the markets, poor infrastructure, and uh, maintenance problem, inadequate trade, cast, customs and institutional environment to their uh, vulnerability with regard to their neighbors. What is international trade? According to Adam Smith, father of economics, trade between the countries would be mutually beneficial is one country uh, could product between the could product one commodity and the absolute advantages very advantages over the country and the other country could in turn produce another commodity in, the, in an absolute advantage over the first <coughs> There are more than 35 landlocked countries, which are la landlocked countries. In most cases, their costs in transportation and infrastructure development are high, and the high cost of goods in trade will be increased. As a result, their power of comp competitiveness will be decreased compared compared with those countries which passes port and seaport. Thus, the landlocked countries have less opportunity to access to the global markets. Transit facilities, transit facilities contains uh, counting transit roads, inland waterways, corridors, and transport of rail, and also Airway of facility trade the trade with the last with the list of problems. This paper, this paper traces to how the availability of transportation leads to super, superiority of trade facilitation in general and in analyzes. Analysis, uh, analysis the position of landlocked develop, land -like developing countries and the transit countries, impact of landlocked countries. <laughs> countries that depend on transport and transit trade, particularly the landlocked countries, are faced with the veracity of pragmatic, of pragmatic Constraints that rise the logistic outlay of their international trade. Landlocked countries are different from other countries because they can come, they can come near the international markets only indirectly by, transport, by transporting goods through an overseas country. According to the United Nations, according to the World Bank in uh, 2008, between 2003 and 2008, the export value of landlocked countries was more than doubled. 
Why? That of transit, transit countries increase rather less. Also, per capita incomes of landlocked countries increase by about 28%. Slightly less than the 33% increases of the transit countries, but still we above the global average of a little more than 10%. Landlocked countries, landlocked countries, use of several facilities to, inter to transportation and shipment of goods like road transportation, railway transportation, airway transportation, and also multimodal transportation. Air cargo is frequently used for more worse but little volume of deliveries. Multimodal transportation plays an increasingly important role in the development of international trade, also about landlocked countries. Transit and, ship, transit, and, transit and transport has increasingly role and it's significantly in trade and development of global economy. As landlocked countries, as landlocked countries are frequently in transit goods through their neighbors, the matter of throughoutly Complementary environmental con concerns, trans transfer and transportation requirements are, the, are high priority for them as well. Then again, being a transit, transit position also opens innovative, in, uh, in innovate, innovative uh, opportunities for landlocked countries. There are more and more international and regional plans to reach out for landlocked countries, particularly developing ones, especially for landlocked developing countries. Thank you very much. Uh, because of limitation time, I very briefly explain this project. We have uh, two hypotheses. The first one about the computer and creativity, which I explained by one example. Uh, whenever somebody asks you what is the chair, the first thing is come to your brain is the one thing with the four legs. Why? Because we have learned in our life the chair is the the chair has the four legs. But what is the creativity? Creativity is nothing but to break the conventional relation between things. This example, whenever we ask the computer about the chair. It is easy to computer to break those things and uh, make one thing without the legs. So it is must be easier to computer to have the creativity. And the second one, the hypothesis, is uh, perceptual similarity between two images can play the major role to create a relationship about the pictorial metaphor. Please next. This is the one pictorial metaphor. What is in this picture? As you can see, the one uh, cartridge bullet, instead of the bullet, they input the uh, rose lip. What this picture want to say? Uh, each year, more than a uh, thousand animals are killed for test the cosmetic, for, uh, are killed for cosmetic tests. By seeing this picture, it's easier to understand that they uh, put the road leap instead of the bullet. What uh, we are developing the tools which can help the user to make the creativity. How? We will explain about that. I will explain. Next please. At the brief, what the iGet tool do? For example, we input the ball and the sum process is going here and the output is uh, some picture like that. For example, uh, we have a sun. Instead of sun, we can put the ball. These tools only suggest the user what you can, uh, what you can do with the two image or uh, multiple image to create the metaphorical picture. Next, please. This is the high-level architecture of iGet. What the iGet do? 
At the first, the user, uh, at the first I should say, we use the fish algorithm. The fish algorithm is the algorithm which uh, developed by ICT department of the IIIT. It's a once uh, image search engine that uh, retrieve the image only based on the uh, perceptual thing, like the shape, color, and something. By using this search engine, what the I get do? At the first, the user asks the I get to find a similar image based on the pixel base. And from the database, it retrieves the image to the user, and the user marks them in the base of the conceptual team. Next, please. This is one example of the uh, fish algorithm. Whenever, for example, we input the Taj Mahal <coughs> as an input, and uh, I get retrieved the first image we can see the bottom. At the first look, this is nothing, uh, not uh, conceptual similarity between the Taj Mahal and the bottom. But if you look at this, we can imagine that those tower of Taj Mahal is the same as the bottle. So that uh, fish algorithm retrieved this as a uh, output of the Taj Mahal. How we use it, next please. This is the procedure. In this research, we have, uh, we have two experiments. One of them is done and the another is going on. The first one is about the second hypothesis is about the conceptual perception, uh, conceptual similarity, how it's work. I will explain here the procedure first. From the query, from the image which uh, we input in the database, it retrieved the perceptual similarity only, as I showed. You. And we make a pair of the image and we will show to the user uh, to interpret that. For example, the user mark, okay, these two images have a relation in shape, have a relation in base of the color, and something like this. And it's come here, in our research, we have one uh, module, is culture transfer module. It's our second experiment. What is that? If we present, uh, if we want to present the happiness for example, the bride with the white dress. It can be a presentation of the happiness. But as you know, in the India, the bride doesn't wear the uh, white dress. So if we show the white dress to the user, in India, it doesn't make a sense for happiness. But in the Western country, it's make. So what, we, uh, what do we do? We design the one experiment to know for example, this picture can present one what concept in India and one concept in the another country. We collect the image from the net. Uh, I designed and developed one tool to collect the image from the internet and ask the experimenter to mark them. So we can, in this module, we can understand <laughs> the one concept, how it can present to different people in different culture. Please, next. This is the, uh, how the I get act. First, from the fish algorithm, we drive the image based only in the, base, uh, in the pixel base. Next, the user mark them in three different categories. The conceptual factor, perceptual factor, and aptness. For example, we show the between ball and the bicycle, they can mark. For example, because the ball and the wheel of the bicycle is same, they can mark, okay, in the uh, shape, it has a uh, marks. And all things, uh, we have already 10 factor which the user can mark them. Next, please. And whenever we input, as we input the image as a query, the system retrieves the image. For example, at the first one you can see the, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, the conceptual feature number one, 163 percent marked it, and the average point is 6.5. The system uh, 
the system automatically order them and show it to a user. And user can select from there. Then we use the morphing tool to morph those pictures and finally the result will show to the user. Mr. Zari, what a pity, I have to ask you to make it short, yeah, this please. Is the last one. This is just uh, one uh, web page from the iGET. We develop it in the uh, web, uh, sorry, web browser and we use the J2E methodology to develop these tools. As a conclusion, these tools can uh, have a benefit for the professional people, uh, especially which they have in the advertisement professional. And I, I should say that the creativity is nothing, it's not uh, as a, the computer can do it. So it's only suggest the user, you can use this tool picture to make a creativity. Thank you. Since uh, time is uh, running out, I will short as much as possible. The purpose of uh, our study was to know the access of ICT of Muslims, taking the small sample of Bhopal city in India, that is 350, and knowing the accessibility <coughs> try to explore some strategies to include the largest minority in uh, digital world. For this purpose, we try to know that the access of computer system, second point was the connectivity of internet at home and internet cafe, and third was language comfort in. After that, the nature of use of computer, that is online and offline activity. In offline activities, such as watching movie, listening music, playing games, educational aspects like watching educational CDs, typing, calculation, presentation, data management, etc. Online activities like email, chatting, e-ticketing, e-banking, shopping, news, social networking, etc. The finding of our research shows that as far as the access to computer system is concerned, 28% of the respondents have their desktop or personal computers, only 7% have the laptops and 5% have the smartphones, 8% use the system at cyber cafe while 5% are dependent on their friends. The majority, that is the 47% of the respondents are having no access to computer system in normal circumstances. The data regarding internet uh, connectivity reveal that only 10% of the respondents are having internet connection of their own, 17% making the use of cyber cafe, and majority, that is 73% are having no use in normal circumstances. The response regarding the comfort in language used reveal that majority of Muslim respondents, that is 79% prefer to use Urdu language if available for computer related works, especially online activity. In offline activity, the most preferred activity is found to be the watching movie, listening music, that is 78% followed by playing games 33% and educational aspect being only 19%. When respondents were asked to tick most preferred online activity, it is found that to be email chatting 89%, followed by using the internet for information regarding admissions and result 88% and e-ticketing 78%. The net users place the employment search for fourth place, followed by news, that is 28%, entertainment, that is 23%, assignment given by teachers, that is 21%. Furthermore, I am shortening the things. Seeing all these things, we found that there are problems at the three points, that is access, equity, and quality. 
now come to the last point what should be the strategy for digital inclusion of indian muslims number 1 ensuring the availability of minimum infrastructure number 2 software and content in urdu third digital literacy what should be the government policy and things number 1 government should subsidize computers and other digital materials for financial weaker muslims next maktabs and madrasa may be provided financial aid for ict instrument and training personnel as sizable muslim population are being educated there along with english the software and content material as well as websites in urdu language must be developed and given priority in the policy framework special funds scholarships and incentives may be provided to individuals or organizations developing software and content in urdu targeting the rural muslim and girls for ict enrichment programs will give uh, better results separate ict enrichment programs as well as attached with interested schools of muslim pocket may be launched by government and other ngo if we will do all these thing then really uh, india will uh, develop in the real sense and can include the marginalized population thank you very much thank you mr mushaid respected chair colleagues and the participants assalam alaikum uh, as uh, sir has already um, uh, discussed Uh, what i'm going to present uh, i'm going to make my presentation on ict and development the perspective of exclusion and inclusionary processes uh, this uh, paper of mine uh, attempts to address the concerns of the excluded sections of the society in shaping the economic landscape of the global economy and the role of ict driven digital revolution in the inclusion of the excluded sections of the society now the question which comes into mind is what the exclusion is exclusion is a process through which certain individuals or groups are wholly or partially excluded from full participation in the society in which they live exclusion in the society is created on the basis of social identity of the people like uh, social identity means uh, the gender the caste the religion the 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 ethnicity you belong to uh, social location of the people uh, uh, the place uh, you are uh, living uh, like uh, are you living uh, in a stigmatized area in a remote area uh, in a conflict uh, affected area then the exclusion is determined by the access to resources like land labor and capital and then access to information this basis of exclusion uh, creates a multi dimensional exclusion in the society the 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 uh, purple circle uh, in the figure denotes the exclusion on the basis of economic life in the society that shows restricted access to the labor markets and the factors of production like land labor and capital the green circle uh, denotes the, the 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 exclusion on the basis of political life in the society the left circle uh, denotes the exclusion from social participation now uh, what is the consequence of this multi dimensional exclusion in the society the ex next slide the the consequence is the poverty since people are marginalized discriminated they are they are excluded socially economically and politically as a result they become poor since they are poor they become marginalized again and they become excluded again and then as a result get trapped in in a vicious circle breaking this vicious circle is really very difficult and very 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 
at times becomes impossible too. Then what is the solution? The solution is the inclusion. For inclusion, there's no well-defined uh, criteria. There is no well-defined toolbox to define uh, the concept of inclusion. It is just converse of social exclusion. There is no single institution which, is, which, is, which, which may be responsible for creating inclusion in the society. It requires uh, a deeper rethinking of the development process as to how the development process has to be conducted in the economy and as to how the basic services are delivered to the various segments, various, various, various sections of the society. In this deeper rethinking of the process of economic development, the role of ICT becomes really, really crucial in creating awareness among the citizens with the rights and responsibilities capable of formulating community-based solutions, in advocating for national policy changes, in empowering local communities to promote inclusion. Next. The inclusionary policies or inclusion can take place through legal framework, through national policies, through institutional mechanism, through proactive programs, through affirmative actions, through broader inclusive public policies. Next. This inclusion can take place or can be, the, the, the process of inclusion can be promoted through the use of ICT. Instead of using the conventional model of top, top down model of development, it, now the time has come to shift the paradigm from top down model to bottom up model. Top down model, conventional top down model is that when, when, uh, when the strategies and policies are formulated by the government and it is directed by the government and financed also by either by the government or the financial, uh, or, or, the finan uh, or the financial aid. So through ICT we can change the paradigm through bottom-up model so that all the sections of the society or the, or, or the excluded strata of the society becomes part of the development process. How can we do that? We can do that through digitization of information. Through digitization of information, we can, we can transfer the knowledge from one segment of the society to millions and billions of people. <laughs> through, through transferring the, the knowledge, we will, uh, the, 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 the information is going to be augmented. The flow of information gets augmented. As a result, the problem of information asymmetry gets solved. And then we create a global information society. As a result, rapid global expansion of digital network will take place. Next. Global expansion of digital networks network will accelerate the growth of uh, various, uh, various sectors of the economy. The, 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 the sectors which are growing on the basis of the, the, the electronic network through the ICT. Uh, sir, please uh, tell the people not to speak this much. Uh, too much of talking is going on at the back. I we are uh, here. Request the audience to kindly keep quiet and pay attention to the presenter. Thank you. So uh, in a global information society, the creation of high quality of local capacity is possible through the inclusion of ICT in different sectors of the economy. And the, 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 that, that is uh, going to be denoted by E-sectors. E-sectors means the network, the, the electronic network is, uh, is being used for the uh, process of development in a, in a given sector. The best example is e-business. What is e-business? The concept of digitizing information flows, communication processes, and coordination mechanism in business activities. Next. Through this, uh, 
the the small and medium enterprises are being developed the the best example uh, the first the first internet commercial uh, website was launched uh, via through was launched to promote the the the, the artisans living in uh, far flung areas in remote areas uh, they are they they uh, the, the people uh, uh, the, the the website is based uh, on latin america uh, the, the the artisans although they are addressing the problems of uh, the artisans living in each and every uh, remote corner of the world even then uh, uh, so so uh, through via through uh, a network is being uh, built up uh, the, uh, the 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 small artisans are uh, are getting the information through this website uh, about the raw material available in any corner of the world the cheapest prices the the quality of material the supplier who wants to supply the raw material they, they uh, on the basis of this they are they are uh, finding the market the sustainable livelihood opportunities are being increased as a result the income level of the excluded artisans is being uh, is being increased e banking is another aspect which gives a boost to the to to the e business next a very important dimension of the role of uh, ict is uh, is is a citizen centric approach on part of the government through this through this uh, a wider range of people may be heard and represented and 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 uh, get confidence that they are becoming included in the process of economic development of the country i am i am skipping certain points because i need to save time next the best example of e government uh, is the e democracy uh, launched by the uh, by a latin american country mexico they they introduced a program national development Pro program national development plan it's like a five year plan we uh, through this they 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 collect information they 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 collect the they they collect uh, they 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 have uh, downloaded the strategies and objectives on the website uh, through this website they are collecting uh, the point of views of the citizens of the country they are uh, analyzing the uh, suggestions given by the people and uh, incorporating the strategies can you conclude for you uh, yeah then uh, okay uh, remaining things uh, e health i am skipping e learning is another uh, uh, i want to uh, i want to show this uh, inclusive rural development uh, rural development is also being promoted by the use of ict rural telephony from bangladesh is the best example uh, in collaboration with the gramin bank gramin phone was launched and uh, it was based on shared access basis uh, one phone was given only to one village the the the, the phone was being financed by the gramin bank next experiences from india uh, www.ruralbazar is the website which is launched by government of tamil nadu to promote the business activities of the artisans living in rural areas sari sustain sustainable access in rural india is another website which is uh, which is uh, which is uh, influencing the business rural administration tamil nadu is uh, is uh, Uh, covering entire administration of a particular village and uh, getting the feedback from the people next so this was this was uh, this was like uh, ict is uh, is um, creating or promoting inclu uh, inclusion only what is the other side of the coin the other side of the coin is exclusion see uh, the world is home to 7 billion people out of 7 billion people access to tv is only with 4.9 billion people and access to pc is only to 1.9 billion people that means uh, 5 billion people uh, uh, 4 billion people are still excluded from this kind of 
development access to ICT next okay access to PC at home 66 percent people or 66 percent of global population is still excluded they don't have personal computer at home next Internet at home globally, 65% of the total population of the world is still does not have access to internet at home. Next, it is ICT actually is creating digital divide also. You see, uh, I have I have taken only two. Uh, uh, I have taken the examples of Africa and Europe. You see, in Africa, uh, the global regional divide in terms of internet bandwidth per internet user. In Africa, it's uh, 2,000, and you see the Europe. This, there is so much of divide between the two continents. Next. Availability per year broadband connection per thousand of population. You see Africa, and then Europe. What is the reason? The reason is price discrimination. The reason is the affordability of the price. Why Africa does not have access or does not use internet? Because average African pays 41 percent of their average uh, of their total income if uh, if one wants to use internet. And uh, if you see Europe, they they they, they spend only one percent of their total income on the use of internet. That is why the, the divide is that much. Next. The conclusion is uh, ICT center development is promoting socioeconomic, politico, cultural inclusion of worlds excluded. However, the power of technology has been unable to reduce the concomitant global inequalities between the included and the excluded. Included are those who have the excess of it. Excluded are those who do not have the excess of it. As a result, in productivity of certain segments of the society increases. As a result, assets are accumulated. But the divide between the haves and have-nots gets aggravated. Thank you.